Let's talk about the most overrated pieces of gear in backpacking. Now, recently I put this question out on my channel to ask you what you guys thought was the most overrated pieces of gear in backpacking. Now, what I want to do is share my opinion, my experience, and whether or not I agree or disagree with these gear items being the most overrated pieces of gear in backpacking. And what we're gonna do is absolutely save the best for last, but let's talk about the first item, and that is Dyneema, and Dyneema tents, or just Dyneema as a fabric option. Is this really a overrated piece of gear? And this one, I agree to disagree in whether or not Dyneema really is overrated and if there are better options out there on the market. Now, do you need a Dyneema tent for you to have a good time in the backcountry? <laughs> Absolutely not. I was somebody that was like, there's no way I'm ever going to buy a Dyneema shelter. And then once I did and I started using it as a shelter fabric, I was like, okay, I get the hype. I understand why this is so popular and why people want to spend the money for the weight savings that you get from a Dyneema shelter. But again, you absolutely do not need a piece of Dyneema when you've got plenty of other cheaper options out there on the market as well. This tent here comes in at about $500 and this tent here comes in at about $650. So yeah, they are expensive options and I do agree that you do not need to spend that much money on a tent when there are plenty of other options out there. But for what Dyneema is as a fabric, I do agree that it is amazing. Number two on the list, this one is a lot of fun for me to <laughs> consider. And this is trekking poles. I was, okay, maybe not shocked, but a little surprised that so many people were saying trekking poles are overrated. And this one, I think I disagree with because trekking poles truly do hold a lot of value for a lot of people that have either bad knees or they do a lot of elevation gain and loss in their hikes or they just want some added stability. Now trekking poles, do you need them? No, you do not need them to go hiking, but do they provide support, stability, and just a bit more opportunity for you to take some stress off of your knees and your feet when you are going down steep descents and such? Yeah, that's where I think that they hold a lot of uh, value for a hiker. What I do disagree with in the fact that yeah, they're overhyped is the amount of money that someone can spend on a stick. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a stick of carbon fiber or aluminum that uh, extends or shortens and you really should maybe only need to spend about 20 to $30 for a pair of trekking poles that will do the same thing as a $250 pair of trekking poles. Now I get it the way that ergonomics of the handles and straps and everything are put together and the quality of the carbon fiber and the flick locks, like, yeah, that holds its place, but it's a stick. <laughs> Do you need to spend over $200 on a pair of sticks to give you what a trekking pole provides in stability support and everything out on the trail? Now these do also hold a place in being able to pitch a non-freestanding tent and overrated in the sense that if you're somebody that doesn't hike with these, you do not need to use trekking poles to pitch a non-freestanding tent. You can get telescoping carbon poles or aluminum poles that are tent poles that work just the same as a trekking pole does. I think trekking poles absolutely have their place in the world of hiking. Are they overrated? Mm. I tend to agree and disagree with this one as well. I think for a lot of people, they are a beneficial piece of gear for backpacking. The next item here, which I do not understand the controversy of this, but it is a backpacking chair. Why are chairs determined as this evil thing in backpacking? I don't understand it. So I've got three chairs in my possession, the Helinox Chair Zero, the Moonlight, reclining chair from Nemo and the Skyline UL chair from Big Agnes. A chair is amazing and I 
absolutely disagree that a chair is overrated. In the right application and for a certain type of hiking style, no, a chair is not something that's going to make sense. If you are absolutely trying to save as much weight as possible, you're not going to bring a chair. You're gonna sit on the ground, on a foam pad, you're gonna lean against a tree, against a rock, and that's going to serve the purpose for you. However, there are a lot of people, and I would argue the vast majority of backpackers are not through hikers. They are weekend warriors, people that are just going out on occasion, and they are spending more time in camp than they are on the trail. And so having a nice, cozy, comfy place to sit that is off the ground makes a huge difference in the comfort that somebody experiences on the trails. Chairs are not overrated. I don't agree with that one at all. Okay, number four, and this was the most uh, commented piece of gear that I, maybe I'm not surprised by it, but uh, it was a little overwhelming the number of people that commented and said that a jet boil is the number one most overrated piece of gear in backpacking. Let's talk about who the jet boil caters to. If you are brand new to backpacking, you walk into REI or some other big retailer that has a huge selection of backpacking gear, Jet Boil is one of the number one things that you're going to see on the shelf. And they have done a really good job with their marketing. They have developed a reliable, good product that for somebody that doesn't know that uh, titanium pots exist in this size, which is the Tox 550 milliliter, and that you can put a small stove in here and everything, you're gonna walk into the store and see a jet boil and go, oh my gosh, you've got this cool stand, you've got your stove, everything fits inside of here on the bottom. You've got this cup that also lets you measure how much water would go into your dehydrated meal. And very likely the salesperson at that store is going to say, this is the way to go because you may be going out with another person and this is gonna give you a pot large enough it's convenient, but it's way overpriced in my opinion when you compare to a $30 pot, a $25 to $50 stove, and then uh, you're pretty much set. This thing is like over $100 and it is pretty bulky and pretty big. However, I do think that a jet boil is a pretty cool option for certain situations. Now, if you are somebody that is only ever boiling water, the whole argument of the jet boil boils water at a massive rate and it saves all this fuel and all this time, like, no. Like, I don't get into all of those things because is your goal going out into the backcountry to boil water as fast as you absolutely can and then eat as fast as you can? Like, no, that's not, that's not what we're trying to accomplish here. The jet boil is efficient, it does do a good job, but it may not be the best option for everybody. But if you are somebody that is brand new to backpacking and you want something that is a good all-in-one system, the jet boil really is a good option. And do I think it is overrated? And at the level that all of you shared your opinions about, uh, I agree and I disagree with this because I do think it has its place, but I do feel like there are plenty of other options out there to choose from. Like I've got the Soto Amicus in here and uh, you can go as cheap as like that BRS uh, 3000 uh, tea stove that's like 10 bucks on Amazon. So no, you do not need to spend 130 plus dollars for a jet boil to be able to boil water <laughs> and have a dehydrated meal in the backcountry. Hands down, it is a good system and I do think that uh, it has its place and everything, but man, it was fun to see so many people say that the jet boil is massively overrated as a piece of gear uh, for backpacking. So I wanna know what you guys think of this list of gear items as the most overrated pieces of gear in backpacking. Is the jet boil overrated? Are trekking poles overrated? Is Dyneema as a fabric overrated? And chairs. 
<laughs> which I still disagree with. Chairs are amazing. You need to carry a chair. But there you go. That is the overrated pieces of gear in backpacking determined by you. And uh, super appreciate everybody that commented and shared your thoughts on what you thought uh, those items were. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. See you on the next one.